Hello again and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my video where I will present to you another job interview question and its answer examples. You must watch this video till the end if you really want to master the answer to the question that I'm going to talk to you about today. Because this question has the potential to get you selected at the interview, even if you think you have not done too well throughout the other parts of the interview. And maybe you already guessed it. This is the question that the interviewer usually asks at the end of the interview. Do you have any questions for us? I call this question a very high scoring question just like some other high impact questions like tell us about yourself what are your strengths these are questions where you can really make a very strong impact on the interviewer to answer this question if you succeed in asking two to three relevant and impressive questions you will leave the interviewer with a very strong last impression and I can tell you from my personal experience as an interviewer that this last impression can overcome any minor shortfall in your overall interview or in the way that you answer the other questions. One of the basic reasons for asking this question is that the interviewer wants to get an idea whether you are interested in this job, its functions and the company besides being interested in yourself. Because in response to this question, most people start asking the interviewer about the selection process or about how long they will need to wait for the outcome of this interview. And some people even start discussing the salary for this position in response to this question, which I would not recommend at all. So now let us move to how you should respond to this question, which is usually asked at the very end of an interview. And the question again is, do you have any questions for us? While practicing the answer to this question, please keep in mind that it is always best to ask at least two to three questions to the interviewer, instead of asking just only one question. I will provide you with four examples of questions that you can ask the interviewer and I will let you choose which one you would like to use in your interview and you can even compile a question of your own based on the examples that I will present to you. Are you ready to get down to business and do exactly what I tell you to do? Before telling you the question examples, some other important points to remember. The first thing to remember is to thank the interviewer for providing you with this opportunity to ask a question. You can begin your answer to this question by saying, thank you very much for providing me this opportunity to ask a question. Actually, I have two to three questions in my mind that I would like to ask you. At the same time, let me tell you about a few questions that you should avoid asking. For example, avoid asking, when will I know the result of this interview? You should also avoid asking about the salary for this position in response to this question. Maybe the interviewer already discussed the salary with you earlier during the interview. Or maybe they plan to discuss the salary at a later stage once they are through the initial selection process. So asking about the salary in response to this question is not recommended by me. Before moving ahead, I have a request. Kindly subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video, which will encourage me to produce more such videos for you. Thank you. Another important point, in case you tell the interviewer in response to this question that you do not have any question to ask, it will indicate that you are either not interested in this job or that you did not prepare well enough for this interview. That is why it is very important to stand out from the others and ask the questions that I'm going to tell you about. So let me give you the four example questions that you can use in response to this question. Example number one, is there any area or task in this position that you would like me to focus more during the first 30 days of my employment? This is one of the best questions to ask because this will show the interviewer that although you have not been selected for this position yet and you already look forward to how best you can perform in this position. Example number two, can you give me an idea about the business growth plans for your company in the next one to two years. By asking this question, you are showing your interest in the business growth of this company. This is a very clever question to ask. This question will also indicate to the interviewer 
that you are thinking in terms of a long term career with their company and that you are also interested to know how the company plans to move forward with its expansion. Question example number three. How do you see the career progression for me in this position? This question to ask the interviewer is one of my favorites when responding to this question. It is yet another way to show the interviewer that you are interested in creating a long term career with their company. And finally, question example number four. In your opinion, which skills and competencies are most important for me to succeed in this role? This question will indicate to the interviewer that you are actually interested to perform well if you are selected for this position. As I mentioned earlier, based on the guidelines in these examples, you may compile a question of your own. But keep in mind the important points that I mentioned to you earlier. Apart from these four questions, there is another question that you might ask the interviewer at the very end of the interview. And that question is, what is the next stage of selection for this position? If you practice the answer to this question well, and you are able to ask two to three of these questions to the interviewer, you will leave the interviewer with an amazing last impression. Leaving a great last impression is as important as creating the first good impression. If you like these example questions, but you would still like to get more examples, kindly write to me in the comments of this video. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video.